Okay, in this question, we want to find between which two whole numbers is the square root of 201. So, how do we do that? Well, of course, there are all types of algorithms for finding square roots, but in most cases, especially on standardized tests, and in simple cases like this, it's just easy to guess and then narrow down through guessing. So what I mean is, start with a friendly number. Right, we're trying to find a number square that equals 200. So it's okay to start with something like 10 and square it, and you get 100. And realize, well, that's too small. We need to reach 200. So then go for a higher value, maybe like 20, right? But 20 squared is 400. That's too large. So let's try in between. How about 15? Well, 15 squared is 225. Still a little bit too large. So we try one more. Let's try 14. Well, 14 squared is 196. So that tells me that, well, there's no whole number here square that equals 201, but it's certainly above 14 and below 15, right? Because 15 squared was 225. That's above our target number. And then the next smallest whole number, 14, 14 squared gives you 196, which is too small. Now, where will the square root of 201 lie on this number line? What will it be closer to? Well, to figure that out, just subtract, right? 225, which is 15 squared, minus 201, that equals 24. So you can think that, okay, 15 is, is close to the square root of 201 because 201 is only 24 away from 225. But what about over here? Well, 201 minus 196 is just 5. So that means the square root of 201 is very close to 14. So I'd plot it about here, let's say. There's the square root of 201. It is close to 15, but it's much closer to 14. And you can figure that out through subtraction. All right, hope that helped.